Hi again, this is the last videos of the series of uh, videos on IP addressing, IPv4 addressing. And in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the classless uh, IP address. So, uh, the first thing here, uh, let's work on this table. How to identify uh, if an IP address is classful or classless. First, Let's start with this example, I mean the first IP address. So the first IP address, if you look at it, look at the leftmost byte. So leftmost byte value is 10, so it looks like a class A. Look at the length of the subnet mask 8. So we know that the default subnet mask for class A is uh, 8. Uh, so it falls within uh, the range, so this is a classful IP address. Now we have also the same IP address here look at this value in the leftmost by 10 so it looks class a look at the length of subnet mask 9 so 9 is uh, larger than 8 than the, than the length of the length of the default subnet mask which is 8 so 9 is larger so what we understand when you see 9 it means that we are subnetting we are subnetting how many bits we borrow here we borrow one bit we are borrowing one bit from the uh, host address field, so we are doing some uh, subnetting uh, from the default uh, subnet mask, and uh, this in this situation we are dealing with we are still dealing with a classful IP address. However, if we see an IP address like this, 10.1.2.3, look at the length of the subnet mask 7. We know that the length of the default subnet mask for class A is 8. Now the given length here of subnet mask is 7, 7 is less than 8, so it does not fit with the uh, definition of class A, that's why here we're going to put it as classless, so this is a classless, just combination of bits, it does not fall, fall into any one of the classes that we already explained. So the same situation here, if you look at this IP address, look at the leftmost byte value 172, which means that it looks like a class B. But you have also to look at the length of subnet mask, 16. So we know that uh, 16 bits in the subnet, uh, in the network address is actually, or subnet mask is the default length of the subnet, is the length of the default subnet mask, 255.255.0.0. So this is a classful IP address. Now, if we go to the next IP address here, look at the length, it is uh, class B, but look at the length of the subnet mask 17 which is larger than the length of the default subnet mask so it is a classful however if you analyze the next IP address it looks like class B if you look at 172 it looks like class B but look at the length of its subnet mask the length of subnet mask is less than the length of the default one which is 16 okay so in this case it does not fit into the uh, class B so that's why here it's a classless IP address same story with the next IP address 192.168.0.1/24. 192 falls within the range of those values that identify class C IP address, and we know that the length of default subnet mask for class C is 24. So definitely, this is a classful IP address. The next IP address. Sorry. Uh, the next IP address here is uh, 192.168.0.1/25. If you look at uh, 25, 25 is larger than the length of the default subnet mask. So here we are doing subnetting. So it's it's okay. It's it's a classful. However, if l if you look at this this IP address 192.168.0.1/23. Look at the length of subnet mask. It's shorter. It's smaller than the length of the default. So this is a classless. So in fact, you are provided with an IP address. Look at the subnet mask. Look at the length of the subnet mask. If you find that the length of subnet mask is larger than or equal to the length of the default subnet mask for that particular class, then this is a classful IP address. Now, if you find that the length of the given subnet mask is shorter than the length of the default subnet mask for that class, then this is a classless IP address. So I hope these videos have been useful. Thank you for watching.